Connectivity is key to the future of humanity. Connectivity is needed for us to be able to move forward as a society. Connective technologies really have brought collaboration globally to a completely different plane. All good guys, full house. As communicative technologies get better, our understanding of different cultures increases. It's very important for us to connect with people from everywhere. So that's our way of maintaining our culture. The digital skills are the future for now. Technology helps deaf people connect with hearing communities. Connectivity is vital for the progress of the global civilization. There's this connective tissue, which is technology. We're doing something that's not been done before. A new road into the north, made not of tarmac, but fibre cable, is putting one of the most remote communities in the world on the global map. The rollout of high-speed internet is bringing new opportunities for cultural exchange for the Inuit communities in northern Canada. Tattooing is a process. It's a mental, physical, spiritual process. It's counseling, it's healing, and it's magic. Epic Saud is a tattoo artist who incorporates Inuit designs in her tattoos. She is helping to connect Inuit culture with the rest of the world. What I love online is when Inuit are representing themselves for other Inuits. That's what I really love about connecting online and showing my stuff. Tattooing with traditional methods is to reawaken our ancestral uh, physical memories. So when we do things culturally, it engages more with our ancestors and it's like we're spending time with them. I work with all natural material, bones from every animal, seal skin, walrus, ivory. We have to use every piece of the animal to respect it, sacrificing its life to provide for us. Thanks to connectivity, Barbara's Inuit-inspired jewelry is admired by people around the world. I would say the internet is the major reason why I'm successful in my visual art, it's vital. Connective technologies work both ways. They are also enabling a famously isolated community to absorb other cultures from around the rest of the globe. The winters here are definitely isolated and remote. They get dark people are using for educational purposes, and especially entertainment, it just makes it easier, the nights go quicker when you're watching like streaming services and the like. Canada is in the process of improving connectivity to its remote northern regions. The country aims to deliver high-speed internet to all citizens by 2030. For Inuit culture, this connectivity brings not only the chance to heal past wounds, but hope of renewal and revival. The thing about the connection and the technology that we're really seeing as a benefit to our culture and traditions is that it's keeping them alive for a newer generation and it's spreading them out to a bigger audience. People from all over the world can see our culture and learn about our traditions. We forget who we are because of our colonialistic history of our identity continuously being stripped down. The more we do this movement, the more we're able to regain our identity.
<laughs> Throat singing, when we hold each other, we're connected so that way we could feel the beat, hear their breath, listen to what sound they're making. In order for us to maintain our culture, we need to be adaptable. We need to be fluid and adjust to the customary times. So it's very important for us to connect with people from everywhere. Across the world, connective technologies are providing transformative economic opportunities for impoverished communities. Poultry farmer Victor is from a small town in rural Kenya. For this 19-year-old, business is tough. I usually feed my chickens with weeds because I can't get money to buy food. Victor's poultry business is the main source of income for his family. When some of his chickens recently died from disease, it hit hard. We were relying on those chickens for my young brothers and sister for school fees. The only hope they had were from my chickens. For many young people trying to make a living in rural Kenya, meeting basic needs like food, health and education can be challenging. The most difficult thing is just job opportunities for our youth. You will find that you cannot do anything without skills. So for most of the youths, it's a challenge. But Victor's prospects are about to change. He is applying recently acquired digital skills to lift himself and his family out of poverty. I look for platforms which you can use to look for customers for your business. Victor is using his phone not only to find new markets, but to learn how to better protect his chickens from disease. I'm becoming more knowledgeable about poultry farming. My business will be enlarging. Digital technology is offering real hope for Victor's business and for his family too. The digital skills are the future for now. This is the technology helping transform not only Victor's prospects, but those of an entire generation of rural youth. Open the Excel application. DigiTruck is a mobile training unit that travels to rural communities around Africa, offering digital education. This solar-powered classroom on wheels trains and upskills residents in areas where there are existing internet centers close by, and locals can benefit most. Most of these people, they have zero knowledge on these digital skills because most of them have never come across a computer. Along with 11 others, Victor will spend four weeks learning how to use online resources to help market his business. Others will use their newfound skills to access government job programs. By bringing more opportunities to rural areas, DigiTruck is helping to bridge the rural-urban economic divide. Connectivity technologies are definitely bridging the digital divide because if you can bring a gadget to a population that normally doesn't have access to the internet, they can use their voice to access information, to get trained, to get educated. In Kenya, these technologies may help address one of the country's most pressing problems, the migration of young people to the cities. 
if we are not able to mitigate the challenges of urbanization, then we will end up with more informal settlements in urban centers. We will end up with uh, high levels of crime in urban centers. We will end up with low level of agricultural production because young people are moving to towns and cities, so there will be food insecurity. Use that skill to propel you to the next level. It's about creating more opportunities in the rural community so that young people do not feel compelled to move to towns and cities. People like Christine. When the war thing, you watch it. <laughs> Christine runs a clothing shop in her small town in eastern Kenya. Since graduating from Digitruck last year, she has been marketing her products online and seen her profits double. I've been able to advertise my clothes and my business is booming. Christine believes with her digital training, economic opportunities lie close to home, which is why she's passing on these skills to local women trying to establish businesses. We have taken the pictures, then we can end up feeling, then we can post. I'm becoming a future teacher in the making. In Kenya, improvements in connectivity may even herald the beginnings of a startup revolution. We are likely to see revolution of uh, startups. And it's already happening. Many more people are now moving to rural communities to set up their startups because they believe that that is where you can make bigger change. Connective technologies change how we experience and access the world around us. And for those with disabilities, they offer opportunities for empowerment on a truly life-changing scale. When I was really young, I couldn't read. I didn't have the resources that I needed. I didn't get the support. I was different from everyone in the class. I missed out a lot because sometimes there would not be a support next to me. For many deaf people, like Kelsey and Samira, learning to read was a huge challenge. But by getting the right support and learning this skill, they have connected with each other and with the wider world. Reading is the reason why I am here today, because without resources, without children's books, I wouldn't be the confident person I am today. Reading was an escape for me, definitely of lifeline. Now, one innovative technology is emerging, which has the potential to radically change literacy learning for deaf children across the world. Hello, my name is Tasneem, and I'm 11 years old. Launched in 2018, StorySign is the world's first artificial intelligence-enabled app that translates selected children's books into sign language in real time. With the help of a friendly avatar, the app creates a seamless reading experience for deaf children and their parents. The children are really, really engaged with it. They don't need an adult with them. They can read themselves. It helps them to become a more independent reader. Weak literary skills can mean worse life outcomes. So being able to read and write is vital. If a deaf child has good literacy skills, it will give them self-confidence. It means they will feel equal to their hearing peers. It will give them positive mental health going forward in life. The boy had decided 
Okay, he's going to try to catch a star. Reading has definitely enlarged Tasnim's imagination and it's given her the power to dream as well, ask questions, write her own stories. Really? You want to be a history teacher? Wow, it's amazing. I think the best, best job in the world. The beauty of story sign is that it has the power to bring people together, to share an experience together, to read together, to sign together. <laughs> Good idea. Reading is very important as parents, just for that bond between the child and yourself. You know, it's a very special time. The Story Sign app is an example of the positive power of technology to realize greater inclusion and accessibility across all areas of life. Ultimately, we have a dream to help every deaf child in the world learn to read. Technology could help millions of deaf children to forge successful futures and follow in the footsteps of the likes of Samira and Kelsey. For them, Learning to read opened the door to creative careers as actors. What we're going to do is start from the beginning. Connectivity is helping these women to tell new stories in innovative ways. Integration theatre. To yeah. so use be our style. Yeah. To create imaginative new artistic worlds and to access new experiences. We have our own community, our own culture and world. When you read something, we feel connected or we feel that relatability. That's what reading is, it's connection. None of that's keeping me here. Connectivity is enhancing humanity's potential for global collaboration. And this is a catalyst for innovation. Connective technologies really have brought collaboration globally to a completely different plane. A collaboration of people from the East and the West, people with different background, tends to enhance creativity and therefore the potential for innovation. On a small strip of land in rural England, this startup company is taking an idea from the East, large scale astral drone displays and giving it a uniquely Western spin. Start calibrations. Just start rotating. Go one, three, six. Go one, three, seven. The Swarm concept originated in the East. Most of the cutting edge drone technology does come from the East, uh, from Asia, from China specifically. All good guys, full house. We felt that we can do more with less by engaging in storytelling to increase the creative potential of, of this technology. See this white area here? This is exactly where the drones are going to be flying over. What we do is tell stories. What we do is leverage new technologies to engage with people emotionally. I'm going to be here. That's where I'm going to be taking off and landing from. Allow the technology to sort of invoke emotion, um, definitely feels that is kind of where the, the East and West approaches me. For this collective of creative entrepreneurs, collaboration is in their veins. 150 drones out there, ready to go. Very excited. Collaboration is absolutely crucial because we want to create pieces of work that touch the most people, and we can't do that alone. And that means pulling in other creative talent to Celestial. Celestial's array of poets, musicians, dancers and choreographers come together to design 3D animations brought to life by a swarm of pixel-like drones. Tonight, the team is testing their latest work an 80-metre dove flying in the night sky. The team is also connecting artists with technology through live interactions. We're focused right now on motion capture, how to translate the movements of a human being into the drones. 
We've already prototyped certain processes that enable performers to interact directly with the drones above them. The clue to Celestial's ultimate aim is in its name. To use technology to connect us to forces even greater than humanity. The Cosmos. What we want to do is engage with our audiences on a deeply emotional level. What we want to do is persuade people to look up from the phones, to look up at the night sky again, to re-engage with the heavens. Something primal happens when you look up at the stars again. A feeling of connection, not just with the stars in the universe, but with one another, sharing in that moment as we all look up again. It kind of really lifts your spirits and creates beacons of hope as well. By having these bright lights in the sky, it does something to us. With technology comes more connection. With more connection comes more empathy. Rather than insular communities, we become one global community. Connectivity enables collaboration and being informed. This is vital for the progress of the global civilization. Huawei's technologies are primary agents of this global connectivity and collaboration. As a technology company, we have the responsibility to make sure that we create a world or a future for the next generation. The spirit of collaboration through connectivity is needed more now than ever before. Global collaboration now is no longer a luxury, it's uh, an absolute necessity. And to elevate humankind in ways that can be a force for good in the world. Technology has great power to realize a more progressive, brighter future for humankind.